Ashley, and I'm from Galileo, where I work to create programs that help kids grow as innovators. I'm here today with today's project challenge. Our goal is to make paper cranes that can hold the weight of at least 12 pennies. To do this, we'll have to be courageous by subjecting our crane to the full weight test, even if it means it might break and we might have to redesign. To get started, you'll need to gather the following materials cardboard for the base, plain printer paper, tape, scissors, two paper or plastic cups, one skinny dowel-like object, like a pencil or round chopstick, five paper clips, and at least 20 inches of string. First up, you are going to create your testing weight. Take one of your small cups and tape a paper clip to the side of it. Then set it aside for later. Next, roll and tape a paper tube. Roll your paper long ways. This will be the crane arm. A tight tube with flat edges is strongest. Now tape one end of the tube to the middle of the cardboard base. Flatten and fold the edge to make it easy to tape down. But try not to flatten your whole tube or it won't be strong anymore. Create another paper tube and attach it to the first to lengthen the arm. Tilt the arm slightly so it can reach out and pick up the weight. Remember, we are trying to make our crane at least 12 inches from the top to the base. Now we need to support the crane arm so it doesn't fall over. Create more paper tubes to add for support. You can attach tubes to the base or just attach tubes to each other. You can cut tubes to make shorter ones and can attach tubes together to make longer ones. When you're ready to test your crane, open a paper clip and tape it to the top of the arm. We won't add the string yet until we know it can withstand the weight test. Hook your cup onto the crane and start adding pennies. If the base lifts up, put a weight like a book on it to keep it flat. Keep adding those pennies until you get to 12. It might be tempting to stop after one or two pennies, but be courageous. Push your design to the limit. If it breaks, no big deal. That's actually a great way to discover how to redesign to make your crane even stronger. Notice where it's bending and think about how you can support that part. Consider adding more triangles or pyramids, super strong shapes. Try rolling tighter tubes. Once you've completed your redesign, test again. It's okay if it takes a couple versions to get it right. Once your arm is strong enough to hold all 12 pennies, you can add a string and winch. Remove the test cup from the arm hook. Tie a knot around the paper clip and pull it through the arm hook. Test that it can pull the weight up and down. Now create your winch. Tape your second cup somewhere near the base of your crane. Open two paper clips and tape them to the top of your cup. This will hold your dowel in place while still allowing it to spin. Slip the dowel between the two paper clips and tape the other end of the string onto the dowel. Operate your crane by turning the dowel. If your dowel keeps slipping out of the paper clips, you can add a little tape flag to keep it on. You can also experiment with adding a handle, which makes the dowel easier to spin. Now that you have a working crane, what else can you lift? Have fun and get creative. I'm glad we were courageous and pushed our crane to the limit earlier. Now it's super strong and can carry all kinds of fun things. Okay, that's it for this challenge. If you made your own paper crane, we'd love to see a photo or video of it, so please share. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.